Two Catholic sisters are looking for a little faith and $10,000. As Devin Bartolotta reports, they're hoping to crowdfund enough money for a special Mardi Gras project at their home in Central City. There's an empty lot at South Saratoga in Central City that Sister Mary Lou Specia has big plans for. Now we're going to make the house afloat. She and Sister Julie Marsh are sisters of the presentation from Dubuque, Iowa. They moved here years ago for their ministry with the homeless at Hotel Hope in Central City, and they are pretty big fans of Mardi Gras. I love to see people get excited over this. S Sister Mary Lou is like one of the diehards. She's this city was made for her. When the mayor said we weren't going to have Mardi Gras, my heart sank. It really did. Now they're crowdfunding an effort to turn their shotgun into a showstopper, hoping to raise $10,000 to participate in the Hire a Mardi Gras Artist project. The creativity and the imaginative spirit of New Orleans, we, we just can't stay home and close our drapes. The crew of Red Beans has partnered with Mardi Gras artists to bring joy and jobs to next year's carnival. The cost of turning a house into a float is $10,000 and they hope to transform 40. I work as a designer and a float painter and I start working a week after Mardi Gras and um, not being able to have that work for the upcoming year is going to be a major issue for a lot of these workers. Crew of Red Beans organizer Devin DeWolf says he's rooting for the sisters to raise the funds. I'm cheering for her and hopefully others, you know, help her out and donate and she can get one of those houses that we decorate with our uh, recently laid off and highly skilled artisan float builders. And with the help of their GoFundMe page, the sisters have faith they'll soon be spreading Mardi Gras joy. I have no doubt that this is going to happen. In New Orleans, Devin Bartolotta, Eyewitness News. Sister Mary Lou has an idea for the design, too, inspired by the founder of their religious order who carried a lantern through dark times.